Hi, this is Vishal and uh, as we know that many sessions we going on nowadays and uh, we are working with uh, one side that is on the chart uh, that means animated chart series and uh, we are working with the canvas series and in the Java we are working with the new jetpack VPS2 animations and uh, also dagger series so that's we we are working on but uh, important topic is nowadays we focus on the charts and uh, we have done many charts like your line chart bar chart multi line chart pie chart and candlestick chart uh, <clears throat> that is used in the stock market and many users want that how we can plot a scatter chart in mp android chart in an android side so that's uh, we choose a topic for the day and we have learned what is the scatter chart and how we can implement it in android <clears throat> and before that uh, i'm giving thanks to all for your lovely commands your queries and as i get a time i will uh, solve your issues uh, in my coming sessions and sure as uh, today we take a topic as per the requirement previous requirements so that means but uh, sometimes uh, i hang with projects so i'm not giving the time on that time for sorry for that but in the future i will make uh, sure uh, your uh, solutions whatever be your requirements uh, so i noted down all the requirements so let us start the scatter chart how we can implement as an app and right side and how we can work it so let see okay so uh, what is the scatter chart so generally a scatter plot can suggest various kinds of correlations between the variables and uh, with a certain confidence intervals so there's a simple definition or we can say that uh, whenever you work with the scatter x y plot has a points that show the relationship between the two sets of a data okay so uh, we can make a multiple scatters with here with a different um, your icons we can say scatter animated icons we have so where we need it just generally if you want to show your heartbeats rates uh, uh, in a small scattering way so you can choose that or just like as a Here's the graph for the subscribers growth in be there. So with the three companies, we can just check it with the plottings of that, how much subscribers will rise up. So we can use it monthly, yearly, or uh, day wise. So that's the, on the timing in small interval chunks, we can check that. And you can see that is the best way of scattering as in a square circle and triangles way so today we try to make it like this and uh, what is the scatters how we can implement it so just to start it and android studio what is the scatter chart and how we can implement so let's see practical okay so let's start in android studio and here you can see that this is our scatter chart that is the our charting charts as we have done many times just like whatever you want for the line chart bar chart you can implement it on like this and here we have a scatter chart activity and those are new uh, please uh, watch my previous sessions in we have in which we have done the chart series okay so how we can implement and, and just like be the same so here first uh, we create a function that is on scatter chart data okay and now we have to implement that is in the kotlin so this is your fun scatter chart data okay and uh, here what to do for the same as uh, we are work with uh, our line chart so the same thing we apply on that's a very easy so first i want to show you a simple scatter entry so this is a well this is your scatter entry and that scatter entry we are making a array list of entry okay and this is our entry list first we have to implement that entry list that is your scatter entry dot add or you can make it a dynamic just like um, uh, you get it from your dynamic array list or making a loop as we have done on multi-line charts 
and the bar charts we have applied the same thing you can apply here and I also want to show you in my coming sessions if you get the data from the retrofit site how can fill that chart as in a dynamic way okay uh, so here you can go with the entry and that entry I'm taking as an a 20 F comma zero so that's your first series that is a zero indexing we have to apply and we have to increment just like zero one two three four if you want to go for the loop so you can use it that is I that is indicates the loop for that okay I already described that and you just uh, copy paste that series of the scatter chart one two three four five okay and here you can just change that as in a 50 that is your one as in a 70 that's your two as in a uh, your 10 and that's your three and this is your uh, 30 okay and this is your four I'm making this data and uh, as a uh, we need your x values so you can go for the x values so that's your x well and that is your array list of a string be here array list of a string be here okay and that's your x well and you want to add that something with this x well dot add I think uh, these things I make it again and again so you can learn it easily okay so that's the steps once you learn you can do anything so this is your simple and if I say the data be um, for 11 a.m. okay or you can say the first day or a Monday whatever you want to put it you can just say the weekly monthly so you can work on and I'm just making as an a two three four five so that means one two three four five the y-axis and the same we can work like this 12 okay around that's your uh, nearer 3 p.m. I'm making just be like uh, any data that's uh, I'm just you putting it here you can put it 6 p.m. and uh, now this is your 8 p.m. so this kind of series you make it so this is your 1 2 3 4 5 series and 0 to 4 that is the 5 series for the X and for the 5 that is the same otherwise it gives an error okay so these two be uh, two things be ready then you have to go for your scattered data set and we have to implement that data set be a scattered data set okay and now here you can put your scatter entry and that entry you can make it as in a first you give the label to that okay and here this is your scatter data set if you want to go for the color you can choose that color whatever it be as we have done many times so here you can work with your resources resources dot you can give got for get color and r dot color dot you can make it as a, a green shade or whatever you want for okay so it depends uh, and then now this uh, be ready and now we need to make a scatter data scatter data we need it and that data you can make it as in a scatter data and this is your x well comma x well sorry x well comma your Mm, scatter data set okay so once this things be ready once your data set be ready you can put it and now you are going to go for your scattered chart and this is your data and this is your scatter 
update okay then we implement it so simple and this is your scatter chart and dot you can make it as set background color and that is your resources dot uh, you get color and r dot color dot white background with white color or you can implement it according to your choices okay and now you can go for your scatter chart dot animate your x y both or otherwise only y depends whatever you want for that so if it is x y you can go for this okay so first see which kind of plot be working with this chart now we have to move for the second one so let's see okay so let's check the output so you can see that result and uh, uh, that's where if you want to go with the description that I already described how in a pie chart how you can give the descriptions and uh, other things but if you have more than one data that means multi as we have done the multi line multi bar so if you have a multi uh, scatters things that means if you want to compare two things so we need one more so you can make it as a dynamic or as static but at this time I'm showing you static uh, in coming sessions we'll describe you how you can use the retrofit also so let's see uh, the second step of the scatter chart okay so for this uh, what we needed we need one more entry and for the one more entry what to do you just uh, nothing we have to copy paste uh, above entries and just put the different name or if you get a data from the back end so you can uh, fetch it in different way okay so make it as a nas, uh, a scatter entry one that's your output and just change some uh, values be here like uh, like this okay so that's your scatter entries one for that and uh, how you can put that test set so you make uh, one more set that's your copy paste and uh, say scatter data set one and entry one and say it as in a second label okay so so that's uh, but uh, what to do for the scatter data so but first we have to need it uh, this set we have to make a array list and then put it on your uh, as in a data set okay so make it as in a scatter list as we have done in multi lines okay this is your scatter list and that scatter list we make it as in a array list of your scatter data set simple so this is your simple array list it's very easy in Kotlin whenever you work with the array list okay and here uh, you can say scatter okay uh, scatter list final you can make it this name final okay and this is your dot add and here you can put your scatter data set and then again you have to put your second data set that is your scatter data set one okay now what to do that uh, we need it as in a scatter list final b here because of we need to put scatter data b here and say alt enter it say yes it is make a i list as an i scatter data set okay so that's very simple and now first uh, we check the result and then we'll show you how you can change the figures of the scatter okay and then uh, your x-axis be on the down so let's see uh, what be the result of this okay so let's see the comparison of the two figures be like this and uh, you can make it a multiple shapes but uh, it is not good that you give the same shapes of the scatterings so we have a uh, multiple choices of do that just like if you want to give the circle if you want to give the triangle you can give the multiple shapes on that so how you can do this uh, shapings be of the scatters uh, so let's see how we can implement it 
okay so what to do for the shape shapings you can say that is scattered uh, data set dot uh, there be I think scatter shapes and you can go for uh, scatter shape dot uh, you want to go for the triangle or the circle so it depends and here you can just make it for the second shape and you can say that uh, the same just copy paste it and that is your data set one and if you want to go for any other shape so you can do that just like your cross your circle or square so I'm giving the circle so one is triangle and the other is circle so if you have for multiples you can give the four other different figures like okay so here and one more thing that if you want to go uh, as, as told you many times you can give said that uh, well x x axis because of uh, on x axis it's uh, look good to work with x axis uh, on the bottom okay so you can say that this is your scattered chart and uh, you can find that that axis let's see yeah so this is our that axis and on x axis you can say that this is our position and that position our that is x data sorry x uh, yeah x position dot bottom we have to give that and uh, also we have to give x axis dot set draw grid lines this is your false okay what it's showing okay so that's the way you can work and uh, let's see what be the result of this so you can see that there's a circle triangle and x axis on the bottom so that's a very good chart so that means it's comparing clear comparing that if you have a number of subscribers when price increasing uh, in each month you can show that heartbeat rates but particular scattering if you want to show that so many things uh, whenever you work with the scatter you can implement it and uh, you can uh, make a figure be like a square okay and a star that be so that's uh, a simple uh, given MP and dry chart animations and you can work on and uh, soon we will discuss about the combined chart and many other charts we will uh, we have to work and also on the can canvas parts we have to work like on animations uh, and uh, 2d games also and plus we have to go for the java and what we going on new as in the jetpack we also discuss about that in coming sessions and i also note down your queries that we will fulfill